Okay, so I just left the international uh, terminal over here. And I'm heading towards domestic. Uh, unfortunately, after 25, 26 hour of flight, still got one more to go. And uh, I'm going to a place I've never been before. That's in, uh, well, I'm going to Belikul, but um, my in Da Nang, he's from Yalai, so he's going to meet me up uh, in Yalai. And yeah, I'm a little bit early. I still got about five hour uh, wait time. So I think I'm just going to take a slow walk over. So yeah, Saigon is relatively small. That's international. You come out, you go right. And domestic should be about, about a five minute walk. Oh, one more thing. First, first thing, uh, I when I get to uh, Vietnam, first thing I do, buy a SIM card. Okay, buy a SIM card and download the Grab app. It's like Uber, but only better. Because uh, with Uber, when you book a ride, they automatically charge you. But with Grab, they don't charge you until uh, until they drop you off. So you know, for whatever reason, the you know you don't get a ride. You, the driver, it could be the driver's fault, fault, the passenger's fault. Regardless, you don't need to go through you know Uber and explain to them to get your money back. Here, with Grab, if they don't show up, you just cancel and I just book another one because you don't pay until uh, you get to your destination. Kind of like a cross between a taxi and a Uber. So yeah, it's much better because you, know, if you have to. If you have to change, you have to cancel. You don't need to you know, send a bunch of emails just to get your money back. But yeah, if, you, if you're here in Vietnam, yeah, highly recommend it. Grab is a for me. It's it's a it's a must-have. And sometimes I'm lazy, they have a grab food also, and it's, it's always special, I mean, really, really cheap special. So if I'm lazy, I'll just stay at the hotel and order something. So yeah, the domestic is right here. Never been to Bailey Gould, but uh, we'll see, should be fun. domestic terminal oh I smell durian let me just do this in a room where it's quiet uh, so this is the app very similar to a uh, uber so all you do is just hit car and then where you want to go so if I want to go to the war remnant museum I have that and then uh, where you're at so it's about 32 thousand dong from my hotel to the yeah, to the my destination And then when you're ready, you just hit book. It, it, they come really quick, so I I don't want to hit it right now. It's, they're going to probably show up before I even get to the elevator. Uh, I'll show you when I get downstairs. But anyway, that's pretty much how it is. And um, <clears throat> obviously the biggest advantage, I feel the, the, the best part about Grab versus Uber is... um. You don't pay until you get to your destination. See, so let's say if I hit book and for some reason, you know, the, you know, 
the driver cancel or you cancel or whatever or it could even be the app itself and you know and you didn't get your ride well you don't have to go through a bunch of you know song and dance to get your money back or your credit back all you have to do is just cancel or they cancel and you just book another uh, and you just book another ride pretty simple you know you don't pay them until you get you know they uh, they drop you off at your destination and to me that's the best part about grab it's a uh, you pay after the ride okay so traveling make you uh, think outside of the box uh, got a story about uh, grab also I remember it wasn't well maybe it was like two years ago or three years ago when I was here and then um, had to get to the airport but it was raining like literally raining cats and dog and uh, it was almost impossible to get a grab because you know the weather and the time so everybody at the hotel lobby uh, was trying to uh, catch a grab or a taxi also and uh, you know they're screaming at the receptionist I don't know how that's gonna help but uh, you know, there was like the lobby was packed there was quite a bit of people I was trying to you know get to the airport and everybody was uh, in a panic because uh, you know nobody were able to find a taxi or a grab I tried for about 30 minutes that's why you have to think outside the box right so I couldn't book grab like everybody else and they're all in a panic yeah just realized wait I can book grab black or grab premium and the different you know for westerner the difference is negligible and sure enough I booked a grab premium and I booked it sure enough three minutes later my ride came and uh it's funny because um, I heard a couple and you know this lady and this she was uh, telling telling the guy, hey, ask him uh, if I would share the ride with them, and uh, and I I couldn't wait, so I just jumped in and left. But you, you travel, it makes you think outside the box. Uh, Sometimes you have to, you have to find solution. Have to be flexible, and that was it. You book maybe Uber does is not available. You you can book Uber Black. It might cost more, but you know here uh, the cost difference is negligible. And <laughs> it was funny. I booked it and I came and, and my car came and everybody was like. You can see, you can tell by the look in their face. They're all like, how did he get a car? And uh, today, I noticed, you, I guess you cannot do that anymore because they, there's this option I noticed on Grab that you can book like multiple uh, different class of a uh, ride. Before it was just either, you know, you book uh, Grab, Grab Premium, Grab Black, that was it. But now you can select all of them and you know they'll find whatever is available first like you know, first available so but anyway that, that's what happened a uh, uh, few years back and uh, uh, that's what travel does right? it makes you think outside the box because <clears throat> you can't you can't expect everything you know, to go smoothly as planned all the time because uh, that's the variable with traveling and I think that's what makes it interesting.